Hello there. Today we'll be doing uh, subsets. It's a backtracking problem, and we're going to be using the backtracking method to solve this problem. All right, let's check it out. So in this particular problem, uh, to do backtracking, it's about committing to a certain result and then removing that result. Let me show you. So uh, we're going to have an i at 0, 1, 2, and 3. That's the length of nums. And once uh, we will attach this to our subset at every i. And once we have reached the length of nums, then we stop and we insert our subset into all our subsets. So we have one, two, three now. And we now are complete. We're done with our problem. So we go back. In this particular part, what we're going to do is remove the 3, and then afterwards we move forward again. So now we, we have 1, 2 at the end of the 3. With that, we're going to go back again with 1, 2, and we're going to go back one more time um, because we have nothing here so we pop that as well and we move forward again and this time we're taking this item now we have one three and once we hit the end we have one three and we add it on so now we go back all the way to zero so we remove it and we take we take the one but we don't take anything else so we just keep the one and we go all the way to the end. In this place, once we're here, we skip the one. So, and then we just do two. We take the three and we go all the way to the end. So we have two, three. Then we move back one, remove three, and then move forward one more time. And we just take the two. And then we move back. Um, and we move back one more time, um, and we have just two, and we remove that two, and we go forward again without taking anything this time, and we just take the three, and we go to the end. Then we go over here, we take nothing at all, and then we go to the end, and then we end up with um, eight results which matches our output. So uh, let's do this in practice and see what happens. So first we create a definition called, um, I mean not definition, a function, and we take in our i, which is where we're going. So if i is equal equal to length of nums, we're going to do our um, all subsets is dot append our um, current subset and dot copy with that we can return so this means we need two variables we need all subsets and we need the current subset so First of all, what we're going to do is um, take the subset, the current subset, the append, nums, and i. Then we're going to do a DFS of i plus 1. Afterwards, um, we keep on going from 0 all the way to 3, append the 1, 2, 3. Then what happens next is that we need to pop. This uh, most recent number, and then go forward again without taking the item. And once we return, we will get one two. Once we hit the end, and um, we will add that to our subsets, all our subsets. Then um, we will return again, and move forward one, and grab the three. So we have one three. With that, 
um, we are ready to um, run our DFS call of zero and return all our subsets. As you can see, um, this works as predicted. Let me run the code and show you the results. And let me bring that up for you right now. As you can see, we printed 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 2, 3, 2, 3, and um, 0, none, as expected. So now let's submit. Oh, it's going to be pretty slow results because we're printing. Um, but if we submit without printing, if we submit without printing, it will be a little bit faster. Great. So uh, with that, we have completed this particular problem, um, completing our uh, subsets and how that is done. And uh, we'll be doing more of these videos uh, on subsets and we'll be getting a better grasp on how subsets work with each problem. So if you have any questions, please comment below. If you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe. If you want more videos, check the link in the description below. Thank you very much, and I'll see you in the next one.